behind the scenes oh yeah. as i know was and behind the scenes oh hey and then come on hey what's up guys and welcome to another episode of the creative talk where we speak to creatives and they share their stories that would inspire you today we have delpy hello and as always we will talk more charlie welcome to the show boss. thank you innocent thank you so much all right so for those of us that don't know you kindly introduce yourself all right so i'm delpy um i'm a tech content creator i make content necessarily about technology and anything technologically and related sure. <laughs> Okay, so let's start with your story, how you got into tech. I know that you are not like, you didn't do tech in the, in the university, right? Yeah. So how did you get into tech? What's your story? Um, curiosity, oh. first off. And um, curiosity is what led me into wanting to go into tech. Okay. Yeah, when I was going to the university, that was when I had my first laptop. And out of curiosity, wanting to know how it works, you know, that kind of thing. I just thought that i feel like i have you know an attraction towards gadgets you okay. get it so i was more into laptops and stuff but when i got to school level 100 first year yeah that is when everything changed the mm. idea of starting a youtube channel came okay. into motion you know generally when i was in school you know my friends would normally come to me and then ask me to help them with their laptops like they need to run a new operating system okay you know there's a little hitch with their laptop yeah, can you help the, me the tech support yeah, guy. yeah you get the tech support guy of the yeah. class yeah. so i was I was doing all of that okay. but then i grew towards wanting to make it you know something that people would see okay. like yeah. not being there every time because i'm going to school okay. so if somebody comes most of the most of the things they, they were bringing were something that was very repetitive and i was like why don't i just make a video, a video. put it out there when they need it and i'm there i can just share it with them i know a lot of friends of mine are always complaining that hey immediately they close the lid of their laptop and it suddenly goes off and it doesn't work again yes there is a solution even before that i, had, I was reading on how i can make money online okay there yeah, are a lot of people who would like to use it they started youtube with passion but generally they it's were looking true. for money so that one day we all know people yes, were looking for money yes. and then youtube was one of the few things that came but what they emphasized on the article i read was that it's not going to be now okay it's a long-term process so you have yeah, to put sure. that in your mind yeah. and knowing that i had a passion for making videos mm -hmm. and talking about tech in general i was like okay let me just do it as for, for fun for now then when it gets to the time where i can start getting money then you know the money also comes as a benefit so yeah it's been long since 2016 2017 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah charlie that that thing that you said about like starting youtube many people will just say that it's about a, like passion and all that but myself for instance i also read on how to like how to make money after shs <laughs> i also read on how to make money like i was finding avenues and then eventually i chanced on youtube mm -hmm. like blogging and youtube and then i decided to go with youtube also. but when i started i realized that it was a whole different thing to get <laughs> like thing. people will ask you how do i start a youtube channel then they, the question that comes is when am i going to get paid mm -hmm. and you know it's it's not just about the money it's about the passion exactly right all right so you didn't do tech in in school right what course did you laboratory you? technology oh there's still technology in there <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> there's technology there, there is there. a tech in there yeah all right so what is your general thoughts about tech in ghana um so i, I think it's still a growing space okay when i started youtube it wasn't really accepted that much okay but now looking at the space now i can see people moving into it a lot more mm -hmm. unfortunately for tech content creators there's just a few if you're talking about tech content creators in general there's just a few mm -hmm. I, would have, I would love to see more people like when you go to nigeria right now you can you can count at exactly. least 20 people who are doing tech, tech. seriously but, yeah but if you're in ghana you can't really count like 10 or 20 people who sure. are doing the same like content creation but if look, you let's just uh, let's just not go into content creation in general there are tech startups there are fintech companies there are um there are better tech uh, startups that are coming up that sure. are really changing their line or the space in ghana there's one thing they said it's a tech cocktail uh, so they'll be having a meeting with tech, tech people, people to just oh, talk okay. about tech and have cocktails as well in general to be oh, coming in november that. october i don't really know uh -huh. so you see these things are now sprouting up here in ghana and i mean it's changing the sphere it's slow but it's better than before so you believe that there is a future for tech no oh, there ghana? is there definitely is there is a future for tech but in ghana what do you think or how can the, the the people that are in it right now 
how can they make it more interesting so that others because i know that there are a lot of tech bros in texas exactly there, like, yeah but they are not sharing which is one thing that i'm going to ask you so how do we like make it so interesting to them so that they can also open up and share things up i think we 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 um the beauty of it is collaborating okay so one thing about collaborating is you know it, it gives you more eyes mm -hmm. from the other person you're collaborating so even if it's not somebody into tech it could be any a lifestyle influencer or someone you could just collaborate with them yeah. and then they expose your side of it because some people will be there they didn't even know tech content creators when i started tiktok and instagram like this people were commenting like, ah, are you in ghana are you a ghanaian yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I, I, I tell you in nigerian <laughs> so because it's, it's, there's this analogy that only nigerians are the ones doing these things Exactly. You get to, and generally, to be very honest, the entire African continent is mainly Nigeria. Yeah. Because you hardly see, and maybe some parts of South Africa, but the Nigerians are dominating. This is because Ghanaians are not, you know, much more into that particular, um, you know, stress environment. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. basically, collaborations would work. Um, we should we should also make sure that as much as we can make it interesting, you know, people mm -hmm. want to understanding more. Mm -hmm. Trying to avoid the technical terms around it. <laughs> Yeah. So I saw like, Rick made make a video like some days back. He was speaking to Fancy. Yeah, it Fancy. Fancy. Yeah, it was Fancy. Se e isu iPhone a. E yi akwa na e bet me da fa do e si e we for kwan. Ama we wea iPhone kwa. So I watched that video. You see that people would be more interested to follow things like that. So as I might not be able to do it in Chi, honestly, but you know, <laughs> you're hoping that we could find other interesting avenues to make it more interesting. More interesting. So that that is the key word. Like we key. have to make more it more interesting, interesting not more like fun games and stuff. Questions uh, and you know, just to you know, get what I mean. But in 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 a nutshell, what why do you think people are not sharing? like the tech bros especially like pro I, I barely see like Ghanaians making programming tutorials but i know a couple of people because i have i have course mates who did it in school that are into programming web development and all those things but you barely see people like Ghanaians sharing all, all of this stuff on youtube why do you think it's it's that way generally i believe they are probably not i mean they're not sometimes they, are, they just don't think they have the time or capacity to okay. go into stuff like that and we all know how intense it is when you're going to youtube especially doing tutorials <laughs> so most people maybe they would have tried it okay. then they realizing the intensity it comes with they might not be able to keep up with it so then they'll stop but generally yes i would really advise people to want to to go into things like that you know tech is not just about reviewing smartphones okay or um appliances gadgets accessories all those things you could also teach as well so you could be on the side of teaching you know how to code in java there's yes. a friend of mine who does that okay. i know a friend who does that mm. Redisuse. he teaches flutter okay. on, on youtube so i mean there are people there like that i just don't think that these people who are in computer science schools learning these things aren't much exposed to that side of the world yet so they wouldn't have had it thought of doing that yet but i'm pretty sure i'm using this video please i beg you <laughs> we beg you we beg because you see like when you got into first year somebody is coming to a variety and after i think after our first um lectures she was like i thought we were coming to continue on the excel and the microsoft word that we <laughs> because generally like there are people who who has no idea if you are doing lab technician mm -hmm. i think you did general science in yeah, SHS, so you, you have a fair right, idea yeah, yeah. of what you're going to do yeah. but like you go into the university first year as an it student you did general arts like what's There's the no connection but now there is tiktok there is youtube so at least if we share the little that we know our, our kids our kid bros and sis they can learn something exactly. before they, they get into exactly. it. all right android or ios <laughs> Why are you laughing? I feel like I'm becoming too... Um, you recently switched to iPhone, right? Yeah, yeah, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> so... <laughs> so honestly, I, I still am hung up on the Android device. I moved to the iOS device okay. recently. And okay. I think it's a good device. Okay. Talking about optimization, mm -hmm. I've fully experienced how well optimized this operating system is honestly i'm going to i'm not gonna lie okay and i love it okay but but if i still won't have the chance to fully move 
I don't think I can fully you like stick to iOS as iOS. my main device all along. I'm just used to the OS, the usability, mm -hmm. the comfort that comes with Android, the customization, ease of access. I'll just be, stick to Android. I mean, okay. when it comes to other stuff, the iPhone might be better, but I just, I just, I'm, I'm Android. I don't know. I'm explaining well, too much. Well, in I that sense, like since you are talking about other things, when it comes to camera, are you going for? an android phone or an iphone it depends it depends on what <laughs> smartphones you are comparing here okay which android no phone? let's let's take like the latest iphone compared to the latest let's say samsung phone i'll go for the samsung it's very difficult to be very honest but i'll still pick the samsung because let me there's one thing i, I there's one problem i have with the cameras on ios not okay. the cameras per se but mm -hmm. i recorded a video here mm -hmm. trying to import it to adobe premiere pro and I realized the entire footage was messed up. Like oh, okay. it was, it had a very weird coloring. Oh, okay. And now I have to manually color it back. Did I say manually? <laughs> no. <laughs> so I have to manually color it back okay. and then, um, you know, get it in the right. But even that made it more distorted and messed up. But my Android, I, I open it, I shoot. There's nothing wrong with it. Everything is clear. It's good to go. And trust me, the cameras on this and the Ultra are very great. I'm not going to lie. Uh -huh. Especially if you're shooting portrait video mode, which is cinematic mode here, but Android. Android. All right. I, I realized that you grew your account with consistency. I remember in one of your videos, you were saying, or recently you were saying that you wanted to post videos for like the whole year or something you said something yeah i, had to I think it was in your yeah, yes yeah, yeah. what's yeah. your take on consistency do you think it plays a vital role in this um content creation process what's your take on consistency because a lot of people like you hear a lot of people saying you have to be consistent you have to be consistent does that mean i have to show up every day on tiktok to grow to become like you <laughs> I come, hey, who's who show seven? Who die? I don't know what she's seven. Ah, okay. So, when it comes to consistency, okay, I think it's essential for every creator mm -hmm. because one, a few things I noticed is when you're consistent, you grow, you grow, okay. Because, I mean, unless you are consistent and you're just doing it for doing sake, because mm -hmm. whilst you're being consistent. Critiques are coming in. People are criticizing your videos and like, oh, don't do this again. This thing you did wasn't nice. Yeah. Try and change it. If you're somebody who is well passionate or very passionate about the what videos you are doing itself, you realize that you want to learn more. How can I improve this part? How can my video look like this guy's own? How can I get more quality? How can I push it up? Then you end up investing. So, sorry. Consistency isn't just about uploading videos every day, okay. but also the daily uploads improves you as a human being. Mm -hmm. Videos I posted in 2016 are the same videos I posted in 2023. Exactly. So, that's consistent. That is why consistency is essential. Secondly, the algorithm itself favors you sometimes. Because yeah. 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 now they, they are like, okay, okay, we can trust this guy. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's just Keep recommend these up. videos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This guy is this guy is posting plenty on our platform. Yeah. He's helping us. Let's just help him back. You okay. get it. Yeah. Then it pushes you out there. You know, I would I did, I wasn't having it, so many followers on Instagram until November 2022, and I had started posting videos since January. You get it. So that's how it is. So when it got to that point, we were like, okay, because because when it got to that November period, I had improved my quality a lot. A lot I was yeah. moving from smartphone to camera. Sure. Okay. So the quality improvement was there. A and then let me add this. Everything. There are people who say gear doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Gear matters the, the, a lot. The gas. Gear acquisitions. It is that one too. But gear matters a lot. A lot. Because if that one, that one. if I never improved my quality and I still stuck with the, the phone, phone production, I mean, it could have gotten better. But I'm not really sure people would have been much because most of the comments I get, questions in my DMs is, what camera do you use? How is your quality? I want to get the same thing. You get me. So yeah, ideally consistency, improving yourself and then investing with quality. All right. On that note, how do you manage to stay that very consistent? So I am talking about productivity. You see, there were times that you used to post like three videos, four videos or <laughs> a day. How do you manage to keep up with that like production level, high quality production level, producing those many videos, like your productivity too? Okay, so um, I make content, I batch film, because I want to make sure that I'm not out of videos. Mm -hmm. Initially, I was like, I make a video today, I edit it today and I upload it. Uh, uh, then tomorrow I make another video. It was stressful. Because every day, you know, you see how my studio is. Exactly. You know what my studio is. <laughs> 
I'm not going to show them, but you know what it is. You get it? So you, every time you, I have to move things do, around. You do studio talk. <laughs> I beg, I beg, please, I beg. You know, you have to move things around exactly. a lot. To, 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 so it's very draining. Yeah. So what I did was, okay, within the week, maybe one specific day, I plan, research, find the kind of videos I want to make, okay. especially for Instagram and TikTok. Uh-huh. I don't know. I'm, I've held back on YouTube for a while. Please forgive me. I'll come back. <laughs> You know, I make... We miss you. <laughs> <laughs> make sure like 10, 12, 20 videos, okay. topics. Then I, I'm obviously not going to upload all the 20 videos. Some of them will be garbage. So yeah, I cut yeah. most of them off. So I make them at a setting, then upload it. Okay. Then, sorry, edit them on a specific day and then upload it. Oh, so the day I shoot, it's not the same day I edit. I edit. It's a few times. How about researching? So, so research, have... so I have a day for researching okay. to plan the topics. Okay. Then the day after that, I shoot because mm-hmm. it's stressful. That, use that's interesting. Hours right. to shoot the videos, then I edit. So if <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you'd have seen that most of my videos I wear one specific dress. Those videos were shot on the same on day. the same day. <laughs> yeah, I just have to pass this across. Yeah, it's not like I, I have one dress; I have plenty of dresses. I think I was listening to a podcast from Think Media, Think Marketing yeah, yeah, Podcast, yeah. and Sean yeah. Kano was explaining this same thing because. Like people are busy. Like you, you are busy You're with busy. that. You have other so, stuff going on, and especially those of us who, you know, we have a studio like that, moving things around and all that. So I think it's a very great thing. What's your most or what's your best reviewed tech so far? Like you've reviewed a lot of phones, different gadgets, so many stuff. What's your best so far? I think it should be. I'm still reviewing it. Okay. I think it should be the TCL P733 soundbar and the subwoofer. That's a long name. And the TCL TV itself. Okay. The the QLED 4K 55 inch TV 55C645. That's the model number. Mm-hmm. Um, those are my favorite so far, especially with the color output on that TV. Okay. The color accuracy, 4K TV, crisp, vibrant. It's even a Google TV, so setting it up is way easier. Easy. And the sound, oh my god, the sound bar. Where's the sound bar? There it is. It's very like it sounds great. It's like it's is is this how they've designed it? Okay. It feels premium. Like the, the, the design is entirely premium. Okay. And then the build itself is durable. Okay, so the sound output, I don't I, I, actually, I'll play it for you to hear it yourself. You see, right. it's so very, very nice. It, that's, that's, that's obviously it's coming in something. a beautiful. It, it, it this is a bonus question. Like, I wanted to, since you are now like tech influencer, you I mean, I won't call no, myself no, a like, tech influencer. No, but... you are influencing tech in Ghana. Uh, try, so far, so try. good. Like, one of the best tech reviewers in Ghana. You're flashing like, me. You're flashing me. No, 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 no. It's true. You're flashing it's me. It's true. So, what, how is it like with? tech influencers or tech creators and brands in Ghana. This kind of debate, I, I, I've heard people talk about it, like something is coming up, a phone is coming up, and then you see that even the tech influencers are not having it, but and, uh, <laughs> are, are you getting a point? Yeah, like I said in the beginning, <laughs> tech is not hugely adopted in Ghana, okay. you know, and most of the brands, some, some brands are doing great, okay. you know, with understanding that oh there's a tech reviewer or there's a tech influencer let's give him a device for him to review samsung for one techno is doing a great job as well okay you know so um there are brands like that out there but you see they are not much you know side of the world you get it yes and so it's difficult to get these things but ideally what i noticed was most of these brands there you ready <laughs> most of these brands are looking at quality Okay. consistency and the numbers. numbers if you don't have these things even if you have numbers and quality you don't really necessarily have to be consistent okay. they are still going to be able to you know but work the with number, you. i think the numbers are like the numbers key, is then the key the key, key. key factor yeah. like you have you are pulling numbers yes okay. because when i started i was reaching out to so many brands and you know, calling me back and i didn't know why you get it so yeah. yeah so i was like okay let me just fall back reposition myself okay. and then be my be alone and then, so i mean if you're a tech content creator and you're coming up don't be too eager to get brand yeah, sponsorships no, and all that no. stuff it's not going to happen that early because these brands are very careful about the people they work with there's That's this true. amount of quality they're expecting from you the individual as a creator you know to 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 match up to and if you can't do that it's not going to work i think that's understandable because as people we we mostly do that even when you are going to buy something like you're looking for quality exactly Exactly. so that's how it is so of course um the brands are doing their parts they're probably not getting devices on time but hopefully with time that will change but i think now the pace is okay for me 
Mm. Might be different for someone, but mm. I think the pace is okay. It's just that, see, these brands, they don't want to. We need. Get the time. You don't get it. Don't explain. Yeah. You explain it. <laughs> background. We'll go background. You go explain it. <laughs> okay, the last one. So, what are your challenges as a creator, especially a tech creator in Ghana? Uh, this is very big. Um, one of which is so, apart from being a lone shooter. Mm-hmm. Like I film my stuff alone, mm-hmm. and you know when it comes to shooting with B rolls and all that stuff, I have to move a lot and still be the same person. That's the only personally that's the main challenge I face now. Oh, okay. Secondly, receiving devices on time. You know, I, unfortunately, I'm not at the point where I can afford to buy a buy device it. now and then review it. Okay. Know, so I'm relying on these brands to make sure I get it. So you realize that Nigerians have a device like one two months ago and then it's now in ghana yeah, yeah and then we now have to review it and what we work with as tech content creators is being able to upload it early because at that early. early stage that is when people are looking for it exactly. and people want to know about it more so if we upload very late then what's the point because they would have yeah, watched their no favorite point. creators already uh, by then and of then course to take that so that slows us down even if, if it's not their favorite creators like they need the they need the information so yeah you ideally yes they'll just so maybe it is later when People are randomly looking for the phone now to buy or for the accessory mm-hmm. now to buy. That's when they. So basically, that's the main issue with uh, tech content creation now here in Ghana. But everything else is like if you're shooting yourself, if you're, I mean, if you're uh, yeah, doing stuff for your own self. Started, like, yeah. This, like, you get a team very soon. I, I, I hope so. Very soon, yeah. All right. This part of the creative talk is called the creative riddle. Okay. Hey! <laughs> I <laughs> I didn't tell you. It. You want them to laugh at me? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Do you read books? I do. I've read uh, No Giving a Saddle. I don't want to say. And then there is okay. a rigid report. So, um, soft copies or hard copies? Because oh, okay. So, I'm a, battle, I'm a hard copy guy. Why? I prefer hard copy to soft copy. Soft copy is just distracting. Let's say soft copy. Soft copy is just distracting. Like, you, I don't find it comfortable okay. when I'm reading soft copy stuff. Okay. I, pre- I want hard copy. Even my YouTube videos, I, I have a diary. I write them down. I don't type them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. So I'm more into soft copy stuff. I don't. Oh, sorry, hard copy stuff. Hard copy. Yeah. So what are the three books that you comment for us to read? I'm saying that's Rich Dad Poor Dad. Okay. Not giving a subtle fuck, and then. The uh, subtle lot of not giving. The subtle lot of not giving. giving. Yeah. Okay. I hope you are going to read that. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good book. You have to. Read. There's a there's a there's a book I'm reading. I've forgotten the title. I think it's there. Go and check it. I'll, I'll, yeah, this one. The compound, the compound effect. effect. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. Wait. Yeah. It's so Darren yeah. Hardy. Okay. Video or podcast. Um, um, no, can I choose both? I'm, 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 the reason is I like to listen to stuff a lot, so okay. I'm more, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm mostly a podcast yeah, person. So yeah, yeah. Podcast. but, yeah. but I like to watch too. It's just that recently I don't have time to sit down to watch for longer periods of time, so I'm mostly listening. Okay. So I'm, I think that is the reason why I'm more inclined to podcast. But generally, I love to watch if I have the time. In that sense, what three podcasts are you going to recommend that? Ah, to? the three podcasts. <laughs> Uh, I have to check my this thing. Let me check the, yes. the, the the podcast names. So the, the first one, of course, I'm, I'm a tech person. So MKBHD's podcast, Waveform. Oh, okay. Then New Later, mm-hmm. also a tech podcast. I can give more. There's Android Authorities podcast too there. Okay. Uh, but let's. I do more of uh, science stuff too as well. So of course, yeah, lab uh, <laughs> Not necessarily the lab technician. Yeah, you are, you, are, you are a technician. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and, and 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 then there's a stuff you should know podcast. Oh, it's okay. a very educative podcast. Like there's some facts and some hitting stuff. If you know. and I listen to Stephen A. Um, Stephen Amell, Stephen Amell Smith or Stephen Smith Amell. I don't know. Right. That guy, he's a um, he's a sports podcast analyst. So all right, so I listen to his stuff um, too. I think links to all these will be in the description. Yeah. What would be your general advice for anyone who wants to start content creation in Ghana at this moment? It is not on the ground, honestly. In that form. <laughs> it is not on the ground. Um, okay. And as somebody who is starting, I know you'd have seen people who have made it. Like, oh, exactly. you're short in the street. It's big. Exactly. So, yeah, ideally, you're eager to get to that point. Mm-hmm. You, It's not going to work well for you. You'd have to start at your at your own pace. Okay. Be very consistent. Okay. And then make sure you keep up with the the trends. Okay. Don't necessarily follow trends, follow trends that much, keep but up. Oh. keep up with it. Things that are in your niche. Okay. You know? So um 
make sure that once it's out there, you are the first person. We are one of the few people who will talk about it, even though if you don't have access to it, mm-hmm. that puts you in the limelight, okay, in, in the spotlight. Sorry, in spotlight. yeah, so that people would see you and you know get to subscribe to your channel and all that. Yeah, and then also monetization is a thing that is it real. Takes time. Yes, it's real. It takes, but it takes it time. Takes time. Yeah, it. it takes a lot of time, and you you would want to close your eyes to that one. Mm. Upload your first hundred videos, see how it goes, then improve from there. And trust me, you'd enjoy the journey. Video making is not easy. Put that behind your head, okay. and then just enjoy the process. It's all right. Thank you for coming. Thank you too. No, for having thank me. you for having me thank in you your too studio. For coming to my <laughs> studio. <laughs> all right, guys. So links to all that we talked about, and Delpy's link also will be in the description. Kindly go subscribe to his channel. And if you are seeing this on TikTok as well, if Delpy reposted it. Kindly follow me as well. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. We will talk more, Charlie. <laughs>